the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with meteorologist Juan Acuna. Hi everyone, welcome back and a very good Sunday afternoon to you. This is the Wilcox Furniture Forecast and uh, we've held on to plenty of cloud coverage, mainly along the coastline. Our inland communities have been holding on to a little bit more in the way of sunshine, but there's also a little bit of some tropical shower activity moving about the region as well. None of this activity is severe, but there was a little hefty little thunder shower that went right over the Woodsboro area, making its way into Rockport right now. Just a couple of little sprinkles left over. Other than that, that's about it. Also in northern Jim Wells County out around Orange Grove near Sandia, a lonely little thunder shower there and off around Tilden, George West up into McMullen and into Live Oak County. We have a few little sprinkles as well. Other than that, unfortunately, most of us are staying dry for today. Also a couple of little showers off to the north of Heavenville going on into southern portions of Duval County. As we look at our CCRV 6 weather bug, you can kind of see the cloud coverage in the background. So we're holding on to mainly cloudy skies and those temperatures still into the lower 90s and the dew point of course is uh, very healthy. So it still feels like 106 out there with a southerly wind at 16 miles an hour. Use caution if you're going to be working outdoors the next several days, probably the next several weeks as well. Uh, drink plenty of water out there. It's not going to take a whole lot to send our body into uh, heat exhaustion or even heat stroke if you're going to be working outdoors for a prolonged period of time. Our evening for Forecast does hold on to the temperatures with the 80s. South southeasterly winds pretty much staying around 10 to 15. And those will come down just a little bit as we head on into tomorrow morning, but we still hold on to a little bit of some cloud coverage, especially near for the uh, coastal areas. So it's going to be a warm and humid start to the day. We bottom out at 78. Isolated thunder shower right about the noon time frame near the coast may move inland throughout the afternoon, but overall very much like today, most of us are going to stay dry. Already 94 at noon and 95 with increasing wind at the five o'clock time frame. So we'll look for a high of 98 here, pretty much the uh, 90s near the coastline, 98 out at the Naval Air Station and triple digit heat once again for our inland community. So the cloud rain forecast is showing the thunder showers right now, but again, it's not a holding on together by 10 o'clock tonight. Most of that activity is going to be gone by tomorrow morning. Notice we hold on to a couple of little clouds across the area, and then in the afternoon we hold on to one or two little lonely thunder shower activity. But again, most of us staying dry, and again, a good amount of us are going to be seeing the sunshine prevail throughout much of the day. Then on Tuesday, we pick up a little bit more cloud coverage, and after that, by the afternoon, we're just talking about mainly sunny skies over the region and uh, over the uh, panhandle of Texas off into West Texas right now. Those folks are getting a lot of sunshine, but of course the big story here is going to be a tropical depression berry that leads us to tracking the tropics. And here is the latest you can continue to see over Louisiana, Mississippi, moving on into Tennessee and into portions of Arkansas. This is still dumping a lot of rainfall for those folks. And the movement is only at nine miles an hour with sustained winds at 35 miles an hour. This is going to continue to track up to the north over the next several days and as it does so it's going to continue to bring heavy rainfall up into the upper Midwest but high pressure is very close by and as we go on into the next several days of course over the next several uh, going into this week I should say high pressure takes over the forecast and it is just going to be very hot across the area and we're going to notice the wind start to pick up as well south southeasterly at 15 to 25 or any sea co-op energy seven day forecast takes us to 98 tomorrow 96 on Tuesday it's going to be very hot very windy high humidity across the area with afternoon highs staying